Hello and welcome everyone, Lanhart here, and today I'm taking a look at a VR strategy game. A VR RTS title called Brass Tactics. I've been really excited to try this out for a while now, so I want to say a big thanks to Oculus Rift for sponsoring this video by providing the Oculus Rift headset, touch controllers, sensors, as well as the code for this game. You can find out more about the Oculus Rift via the links in the description down below. And uh, yeah, anyway, let's jump on into it. So I'm going to play the campaign. I've never actually played this at all. I don't know if there's a tutorial of any kind, but uh, we're just going to jump on in, going in blind. Oh, hello. There's a leaderboard, a difficulty, and this is the war table mission in the desert. Sacred to the Blue Lady, you face a reluctant opponent and learn to use the auto. Okay, so it's a, it's a learning campaign. That sounds good. We'll, we'll leave it on normal difficulty for now. And if it's too easy, we'll pump up that difficulty for the next um, level. Uh, I'm planning on playing through each of these um, campaign levels. So hopefully you guys will enjoy what you see. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully I can do another one of these videos for you guys very soon. But let's start with the first mission. Brass Tactics. Oh, I was going to read the thing, but it's gone. Oh, hello. Ah, you're here. And hello. Thank the Blue Lady for that. Now, you must have an Imperial ton of questions. I know. I'm sorry. I wish we had found you sooner, but for right now, what you need to know is that Princeps Savolto is encroaching into our territory. He's already taken over several city-states, and the devil is trying to claim our Ferris Magnet Mines, which are vital for my Titan project. Okay, thank you, boss. So let's get started. In front of you is my responsibility and my joy. Our war table, where all the action takes place. You can raise and lower the table by grabbing and adjusting it with both hands, like this. Now you try. Squeeze both grip Ooh. buttons simultaneously to raise or lower the table until it is about waist high. Okay, yeah, that looks good. 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 You can also move the table around by grabbing it with one hand and sliding it like so. This allows you to quickly access any part of the battlefield with a flick of a wrist. Give it a shot. Squeeze one grip button and pull to move the table to get a closer look at the enemy castle. That's where Princeps Jero is situated. So many names, I know. He's Come one man. of Zavolto's vassals, but don't worry. He doesn't know about you. Oh, good. Yet. Oh, look, you've got some knights. Oh, you pick that up very quickly. What do I do? Take a moment to try moving the table in different directions. Can I rotate the table? Oh, no, that does something else. Now move backwards to our castle so we can build our first tower. I'm in a mountain. Oh, I can do both together. Towers cool. are placed in open round sockets, like the one in front of our castle. Turn your wrist, palm up, until the pallet appears with Ooh. your other hand. Grab a tower with your trigger and put it in the round socket. I will have a warrior tower. Oh, no. Is that how I do it? Oh, no, sorry. Wrong button. There we go. Now I've got it. Perfect. Now we have a tower. Yes. Towers allow us to train squads, which increase our military strength. Okay, okay. To train a squad, touch one of our towers to highlight it, then press A. You've queued up a squad. Tower. You can queue up to three squads at a time at each tower. After a short time, the squad will appear on the battlefield next to the tower. Okay. On it, boss. Just like that. Awesome. To command our squad, squeeze the trigger and point at it. While still holding the trigger, point where you want it to go and release the trigger. Boom. Kill him. That's it. One of Jero's warrior squads is stationed nearby. To attack, select your squads using the trigger. Point at an enemy squad and release. Kill them all, boys. One down, one to go. Nice. Ha! I knew it. 
That's exactly how Princeps Moravia would have worked. Excellent. Now let's capture that region next to our castle before Jero's forces do. Which one? First, move a squad to the highlighted time ah. socket. It will open up for you when your squad arrives. You guys go towards that gate. Oh, whoops. One of you, please. I should say I'm playing this in the in, in a the chair. Is open, place a tower onto it, just like before. Remember to turn your wrist so your palm faces upward to access the tower pallet. You can play this game sitting or standing, but I thought, seeing as, you know, strategy game, arm, armchair general, what better way than to um, embrace my inner armchair general than in VR, sitting down and all that. Let's grab an archer tower. There we go. You've taken control of this region. Yes, Captain I have. regions produce ore and jewels for us, which we need to train squads, build towers, and upgrade our castle. Take a look at your wrists. Not enough Your gauntlets show your current resource totals, as well as the amount of your next jewel payout. Spend ore to train new squads. Spend jewels to construct towers, add upgrades to our castle, build turrets, or to help train elite unit squads. Let's upgrade our castle, which hasn't seen improvement since Princeps Moravia's time. First, move back behind our castle. Oh, sorry. Wrong bet. Next, grab an upgrade from the drawer using the trigger. Oh. Place it onto a square socket next to the castle and release. Upgrade drawer. Excellent. Castle upgrades can improve the strengths of our squads, improve our economic efficiency, and a region's defensive capability. Botheration. Jero is connecting to us from his war room. Uh-oh. Hmm. Roliano de Leroldo. You aren't going to tell me they have me facing an architect today. Princeps Jero. <clears throat> Lovely weather. In Tenego, it is. But I am surprised you recognize it as such. The desert is greatly underappreciated. Well, let's get on with it. Who is your new scion? I could ask you the same question. I've disabled the communicatus, which ordinarily allows scions to talk to each other. I'd rather that he not know who you are yet. Your identity needs to stay secret until I can finish my project. Okay. Let's move in and take our regions back from Jero's forces. We should act swiftly and press the advantage, while he still underestimates our capabilities. I like how they're collecting that little bits of gold. the destructible wall just ahead? It blocks our path to the next region. Oh, yes. Destroy the wall by attacking it directly. I shall. Archers! Attack! Nice. Can I... Can I, like, replenish this guy? Because he's... He's pretty screwed. Oh, let's just send him into his doom. We'll go get some more. Uh, Tower Q full. Put the table down. There we go. Uh, ooh, can we place another? Oh yes, uh, veteran archers. Yes. Since we've placed two upgrades, we've upgraded our castle to level two. Ooh. Upgrading the castle allows for us to train more total squads and makes the towers and castle tougher to destroy. In later missions, it will also unlock additional upgrades and elite squads. Our okay. castle has improved. Oh, sweet, that upgrades my walls. Nice. I've also got this over here. A blacksmith. Don't even know what that did, but uh, it's all good. Anyway, we've got more warriors over here. Tower maxed. You guys, go over there. Archers, let's get you forward. That's it. Bring your gold to my castle, little minions. I am really liking this. This is awesome. 
if I think the, the thing is, I'd love for a total war game to be like set in this, uh, it's set, set in VR, but um, I imagine the resources to make that happen would be insane. And while I really enjoy VR, it's definitely not mainstream yet. Maybe, maybe it's something for the future, but you know, this shows the potential of it. Can we get any more towers? Is that a tower over there? Oh no, there's one over there. Hello, dude with glasses. Was that all my warriors built now? Yes. Okay. Right, we're going to go for a... Uh, oh, I've got all my archers over here. So... Archers! Fire! Meanwhile, let's grab all my warriors and tell them to attack that wall. I really wish there was a rotate the uh, the map round a bit more, like with the controllers or something like that. What's that? Get it. Oh, we got some stuff. Nice. You looted some ore and jewels from that resource cache. Yes, I did. You are going to be distinctly annoying, I see. Yes, very much so. Go, warriors, go. Keep going. Destroy the enemy towers and squads in this region, then capture it with your towers. Oh, I shall. Uh, I just want that. One unit. Oh, yeah, you guys go over there. Go on, just all attack. Bring the table up so we can get some zoomed in action. You guys get in there too. <laughs> oh, well done indeed. This region has been cleared of enemies. Let's capture it. Remember to move a squad next to the tower socket to open it up. Yeah, I've done it. Uh, we haven't got any cavalry yet. Oh, I can hear you already going, No, Lionheart, cavalry in VR. Even worse. But well, we got to get a bit of go. You captured my region. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> Wouldn't he like to know? Has his accent With this changed? Captured, <laughs> we only have one more to take back from Jero, so we can reach his castle. Looks as though Jero is going to attack. We can defend our region by spending jewels to build a turret, if one is available to us. Find the turret node in the region we just captured. Oh, Touch yeah. the turret node and press A. This costs us jewels, but turrets are automatic and powerful. Activate That's the turret. It. Turrets provide additional defense to their surrounding area. Sweet. Jero's cavalry is closing in. Now our turret will prove its effectiveness. Take a look at this cav. The enemy has entered our territory. Get him. The last enemy region is on top of the hill. Let's build up and take it. On it, boss. Let's get some cavalry. Tower queue full. I like how these minions just come out and start harvesting the gold. It's good. We got lots of it as well. Right. Let's get. Wait until I've got loads of cavalry because they've got. Looks like they've got archers over there. Let's take a look. Yeah, they've got missile troops. Are they sending going to send more cavalry after me? It's like uh, some knights on bikes. Yeah. Hello, minions. And well, soon to be my minions. Yeah, I'm gonna send my cavalry against them. One more's queued up, and uh, let's queue up some more because nope. it's me here. So. I'm bound to lose my cav pretty quickly. Well, they've got quite a lot up there. Let's 
bring the extra unit in. Oh no, they're they're on patrol. Go back. I have high ground. Careful. Jero's got archers at the top of the ramp. Ranged units shoot further from high ground, so you will have a hard time charging them uphill. I'd recommend gathering a force of at least five squads before trying to take them out. It's all right. We've got them. I have the high ground. Boom. Wrecked ya. What was that about needing five squads? Not this guy. Oh. Use the other hand to move this one over here. You guys attack that tower. Getting the hang of things now. All these archers. Okay, all of you just go attack there as well. Because I've just grabbed the warriors too. That's it. Get all the cavalry together. The charge! Oh, too far. Remember to destroy all towers and enemies in a region to capture it. Yeah, we're doing good, boys. And while the cavalry unit's over. And what we're going to do over here. Um, let's get another warrior tower. Excuse me. Can I not capture it? Oh. Oh, we've got to take out both towers. First, perhaps. We there we go. The enemy. Let's capture the region. Let's capture the region. So I want another warrior tower. Looks like there's different oh, tiers of towers excellent. as well to come up. This region is a multi-socket region. Multi -socket. This region has two sockets. Once you capture one with a tower, the other will open automatically. Sweet. Placing a second one will increase your income and make it harder for the enemy to take over. Okay. So let's build one more tower in this region before we proceed further. Okay, no, okay, boss. No. You have full ownership over all the regions, which I grant is how business is done. But the Vortsov will be displeased. I bet he will. All that's left is destroying the enemy castle. Ooh, lady. Jero has really lost his fire. Rumor has it that Zavolto is holding a sigh on his hostage. I'm not sure I believe it because, I mean, territories change hands, but families are sacred. Now it's time to remove Jero from his castle and drive him from this place. You've got control of many regions now, so train up a good-sized force of squads and command them to destroy the defense turrets. Then, move on to Jero's castle. Go! He'll be training new squads now that his back is against the wall, so watch out. Good luck. Destroy Jero's castle so we can seal this victory. And call it a day. I believe there's also multiplayer in this game, so I can play against other people in VR. So, if anyone's watching this and has this game and would like a... VR RTS battle on Brass Tactics, then let me know. Kill them all! Yeah, look at my cav go. Melting their forces. We got everybody? We got everybody. We cannot build towers in the enemy's home region. Let's press on and destroy their castle. Okay. Grab a bit of everything. Away you go! Nice. Hello, big floaty head. Attack!
Clear the flanks. We are victorious. Boom. Congratulations. We've destroyed Jero's castle. New to the table, and you're already a competent scion with a bright future. Yes, I am. What sort of toothless battle were you playing at, Jero? Ah, oh, being kept Savoltor. Uh, I was simply trying to conserve resources. You bile swallowing dog fart. You just needed to counter their archers with cavalry and cavalry with warriors. A child could have held this region. You see why I disabled the communicatus. Otherwise, they could hear us. Ah. But thank the blue lady. I was right about you. Well done. True. If we didn't have this region and its ferrous magnets, our Titan project would be at a standstill. I just wish they were enough by themselves. Victory. Well, look, there's the score over there. I've also just realized, obviously, because it's VR, I can just spin around in my chair to uh, rotate around. <laughs> yeah. So let's actually have a spin. The war table. Let's have a looky. I did good. I did good. Okay, so right back to the main menu. So that's the first one. So the second one is called the Denigo Coliseum. Advanced Squad Combat. For pursuing Jero. Roliano offers some extended training in commanding your troops. Oh, I see. So these first three are all like tutorial ones to uh, to get us into it. And then I assume four, five through to eight are uh, more advanced challenges. But uh, that's why we'll leave this one here, guys. I'm going to record another one of these uh, in the next day or so, though. So you'll get to see two. I'll try and record three at the same time so we get through kind of all this tutorial stuff. Uh, and then on to some other battles. But as I said... um. I can also do solo skirmishes, and uh, there's, there's a weekly skirmish as well. There's also a quick match versus quick match co-op, so you can play with friends. Uh, that all looks pretty good, but yeah, I'm I'm absolutely uh, astounded by how just well this plays. Uh, I know we're only kind of dealing with a few units at the moment, but hopefully as we go on, we'll deal with uh, more powerful units. Also unlock some of those higher tier upgrades as well. Uh, but yeah, I really like how this works. It's actually uh, a really solid VR game. Just getting straight into it. And um, yeah, everything seems to work really, uh, really intuitively. So yeah, I hope you in enjoyed this first look at um, Brass Tactics, the first campaign level. Uh, hopefully you'll want to see more because, well, I'm going to be recording more. Again, big thanks to Oculus for providing the Rift, touch controllers, sensors, and, of course, the code for this game. Do check them out via the link in the description. And, again, big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Till the next one, though, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take pride and join the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Until the next one, ciao for now.